Hello, I am Flash Isaac, and today I'll be taking you through quantitative aptitude questions set in primary schools and common entrance. Now, uh, this set of questions are actually to test your reasoning, your ability to understand certain stuff. For example, you see this diagram, five C's and question here. You are to find out what is supposed to be here. And these are the samples you are giving. So how do you think? How do you reason? Or how do you find formula? What did they do here to get here? How did they get this? So that's where quantitative aptitude comes in. And the best way to do well under quantitative aptitude is to be exposed to as many questions as possible. If you have solved these questions, next time when you see them somewhere else, you should be able to reason. Also, if you have solved these questions using a particular method, or you see the pattern they follow, when you see questions, something should come to your mind, okay, let me multiply and add, or let me add and divide, or let me add and look for square roots. You get. So with that, it will be very easy for you to answer. So get exposed to as many questions as possible, and let me take you through many of these questions, up to 15 of them. Now look at this set of questions. These are the samples. One, two, three are the samples. So here, three, four, two, and three. So how? 0, 1, 3, 2, 7, 4, 5, 4. So how do we arrive at these things? If I remove one of them, how do I get it? What is the formula for this type of question? You observe. For this question, if I do something like this, if I say 3 plus 4 plus 2, or if I say 2 plus 3 plus 4, 2 plus 3 plus 4, this will give you 9, right? But if I say 2 minus 3 minus 4, it will be 2 minus 3 is minus 1 plus 4, it will be 3. Fine. But if I come here and say 3 minus 0 minus 1 is 2. If I come here and say 3 minus 7 minus 5 is 2. 2 minus 4. It remains 2. But here it's not 2. That means that formula will not work. So subtracting them works for this, works for this, but it doesn't work for this. So adding them will obviously not work because 3 plus 1 is 4. Here is 2. So what is the formula? Let's look at something. Adding this, this, and this, 2 plus 3 plus 4, we got 9. Let's say the square root of 9 is 3. So this, our method, works for this sample. So let's see if it works here. Let's come here and say 3 plus 0 plus 1. 3 plus 0 plus 1 is 4. Now, the square root of 4 is what? 2. That means it's what for this also, right? So let's come here and check. 7 plus, plus 4 is 5, uh, 7 plus 5 is 12 plus 4 is 16. 16. Now the square root of 16 is what? Is 4. And here is 4. So we've gotten our formula to solve. The formula is simply to add everything and look for square root. That means doing that will give us what is inside here 10 6 and 9 10 plus 6 is 16 16 plus 9 is 25 so the square root of 25 is 5 so that means here is 5 that's option a now look at this this is the question right so which uh, this is 12 12 plus 17 plus question the square root of 12 plus 17 plus question is 6. Yeah, better, right? Because that is the formula. When you look for the square root of this, you get what is inside. So, uh, 12 plus 17 would give you 29. 29 plus question is equals 6 squared. Because to remove square root, we look for the square of both sides. So therefore, question is simply 
C square is 36 minus 29. So here is 7. Here is 7 in the sense that once you put 7 here, 12 plus 17 plus 7, the square root is 6. Now let's look at the third question there. And remember the formula. We add this, this, and this, and the square root is what is inside there. How do we go about that? We simply come here and say 3 and half plus 3, 1 over 4 plus 2, 1 over 4. So when we look for the square root, the square root of everything here will give us what we are looking for. Now, let's convert these guys to improper fraction. This is how to do that. So we have square root of 3 times 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7 that is 7 over 2 plus 3 times 4 is 12 plus 1 13 we have 13 over 4 plus 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1 9 so that's 9 over 4 the LCM is simply 4 so we have 4 4 divided by 2 is 2 2 times 7 is 14 so here is 14 plus 4 divided by 4 is 1 1 times 13 is 13 plus 4 divided by 4 is 1 1 times 9 is 9 this is 9 so adding everything here we have tw uh, th 14 plus 13 is 27 27 plus 9 should give you 36 so this is simply 36 over 14. The square root of uh, 36 is 6. And the square root of 4 is 2. So the answer is 6 over 2. And what is 6 over 2? 6 divided by 2 is 3. So that is the answer. The answer to this is 3. So that's how you go about these ones. Let's take a look at these samples. Looking at these samples, I think I, I got what they did. Look at it. This is 2 and this is 3. If we say 2 square plus 3 square, what would that give you? That will give you 4 plus 6. That's 13. Right? If I say uh, 1 square plus 6 square is equals 1 square is 1 plus uh, 6 squared is 36. So adding them, we have 37. Now this, 4 squared is 16. 0 squared is 0. 16 plus 0 is 16. So we've gotten the formula for these samples. That means applying the formulas here, we should be able to get the correct answers. Now, we've, looked, we've gotten how to find this. This square plus this square will give us this. What if one of them is not given? That means S square plus this square will give us that. Look at what I'm trying to say. For question number four, this will simply be 5 square plus 6 square, which is equals 5 times 5 is 30, uh, 25. 5 square is 25. 25 plus C square is 6 times 6, that's 36. 36, which is equals 25 plus 36 will give you 61. So the unknown here is 61. Applying that here, look at it. This is what you are looking for question. And the formula is 10 square plus this question here, square. Plus question square is equals one one six. That is the pattern. You square this plus you square this is will give you this. So if you've gotten that, uh, ten square is ten times ten. That's hundred. So question square is equals one one six minus hundred because ten square is hundred. Collecting like things, we take this hundred to this side. That's how we arrived at that. And question square is equals 116 minus 100 is 16. We are not looking for question square. We are looking for 
question. So to remove square from any value, you look for the square root of both sides. So if you are saying square root of this, that will cancel this square. So question becomes 4 because the square root of 16 is 4. So here is supposed to be 4. Now let's prove that it is 4. If here is 10, 10 square is 100 plus 4 square which is 16. 100 plus 16 is 116. So you see, we are correct. Now let's look at this. For this, this question, when we square this question square plus 9 square, is supposed to give us 85 based on the formula. Therefore, question square is equals 85 minus 9 square is 81. So therefore, question square is equals 4. And looking for square root of both sides, question is equals 2. So, 2 squared is 4, 9 squared is 81. 81 plus 4 is 85. So, we've gotten 2. How do you feel about this? Alright, let's see the next set of questions. Looking at this, we are using this sample, 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 to answer questions 7, 8, and 9. Now, like I told you, the first thing is to know the pattern it follows or to derive a formula to solve the questions. Now, remember, the one that we solved earlier, we looked for, uh, we added the square to get the other value. But look at something like this. Using that method on this, you, see, you arrive at something like this. If we say 3 square plus 1 square, equals 3 square is 9 1 square is 1 9 plus 1 is 10 so that means adding it you won't arrive at the answer we want how about we try something like this we say this square minus the, uh, this square what will it give us 3 square is 3 times 3 which is 9 1 square is 1 times 1 which is 1 that means uh, 9 minus 1 is 8. Now let's look at this. If we say 10 square minus 5 square, 10 square is 100 and 5 square is 25. 100 minus 25 is equals 75. Let's take a look at this. 7 square is 49. 6 square is 36. So, uh, 7 square minus 6 square is 13. Now, we've gotten a formula for it. This square minus this square is the answer we are looking for. Let's apply that to solve these questions. For number 7, 1 over 2 squared minus 1 over 4 squared should give us the answer we are looking for. 1 over 2 all squared is simply 1 square over 2 square. 1 square is 1 and 2 squared is 4. Minus 1 square is 1 and 4 squared is 16. Equals the question we are looking for. Looking for the LCM, the LCM here is 16. 16 divided by 4 is 4. 4 times 1 is 4. Minus... 16 divided by 16 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. So this will leave us with 3 over 16. So the answer is 3 over 16. That's option A. Now let's look at the next one. The next one is simply 141 square minus 141 square. Now obviously, once this square minus this square, they are the same. So the answer should be zero. So this leaves us with zero here. And look at this. In this type of question, we know that 8 square minus question square is supposed to give us 39, right? But now we are looking for question square we don't have. So with this, we know that this will give us 8 square minus 39 should be equals question squared. We got 64 minus 39 is equals question squared. This is equals 
25 is equals question square. And remember, we are looking for question and not question square. To remove this square uh, square, we look for square root of both sides. And the good news is that the square root of 25 is 5. So here is 5. Now, we are expected to uh, use these samples to answer question 10 and 11. Look at the pattern these samples follows. 7 plus 4 square is equals 23. Look at it. 4 square is 16, right? 16 plus 7 is 23. Take a look at this. Half plus half squared is equals half plus 1 over 4. This will give you 4 3 over 4. You see, that's how we got this. Now look at this. 4 plus 1 square is equals 5. So that is the pattern it follows. Looking for this, this will simply give you 5 plus 6 square, which is 5 plus 36. And that will give you 41. So this is the answer to this one. And look at this. The answer to this one should simply be question question plus 12 square should give you 146. So this is this question plus 12 square is supposed to give us 146. But we don't know the question. So question will simply be equals 146 minus 12 square. This will give you 146 minus 12 square is 144. So 144. 146 minus 144, the answer here is 2. Look at this. This one follows this pattern. For this times this over this over 2. That's 20 over 2 is equals 10. So if, looking at others, 4 times 3 is 12. 12 divided by 2 is 6. That is the pattern for that question. So applying that here. This should be 1 times 5 is 5. 5 divided by 1 is 5. So this is 5. And I just uh, brought out one question here. There are many questions. So this is the sample. With this sample and the wisdom here, you should be able to answer as many questions as possible under this type of questions. Now let's see the pattern this follows. 1 square plus 4 square is equals 1 plus 16, that's 17. Now if you see this type of question, this is the pattern it follows. Half square plus 1 over 2 square, that is half square plus half square, is simply 3 over 8. So therefore, for this one, question square plus 9 square is equals 82. Therefore, question square plus 9 square is 81, plus 81 is equals 82. Therefore, questions is equals 1. Square root of 1 is 1. So that's 1. Look at the pattern this one follows. 1 over 3 all square plus 1 over 9 will give you 2 over 9. For here, 2 square plus 5. 2 square is 2 times 2, 4 plus 5 will give you 9. Then here, 4 square is 16. 16 plus 4, 20. So this one follows that pattern. Therefore, this will be 4 square is 16. 4 times 4, 16. Plus 42 will simply be 58. So this is 58. Now, uh, finally, look at these samples. This one follows the pattern. 3 raised to the power of 3 is 27. 1 raised to the power of 3 is 1. 5 raised to the power of 3 is 125. Therefore, 1 over 2 raised to the power of 3 is simply 1 over 8. So this is how to answer all the quantitative aptitude test. Just answer as many as possible. And if you are confused about anyone, let me know. And if you have more questions, bring them. I will solve for you. Thank you. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more amazing guides.